hey what is up everyone today we have the z blaze stratos 3 ultra which is another rugged and gps smartwatch by z blaze in this video we're going to find out everything inside this smartwatch first of all let's find out what comes inside the box so we have this user manual to get you started with all of the functions then we have the z blaze stratos 3 ultra we're going to take a closer look on it later in the video and if we lift this up we have another box here and inside this box we have the charger let's go ahead and get it out so we have a USB A magnetic charger. So let's take our first look on the smartwatch. It is a rugged smartwatch but comes with a very decent shape and size as most of the rugged smartwatches we see these days are quite big in size and also have a quite heavy look but this one comes with a very decent look. Talking about the body dimensions, it is 45.6mm into 12.7mm thickness. Talking about the body material, we have a zinc metal bezel and drilling carbon coating. The body is really durable and it has 15 US military standard 8108 certifications and it has passed many tests like drop test and low temperature test and many other tests like this and it is rated ip69k level waterproof and is water resistant up to 5 atm then with a corning gorilla glass on top it has a 1.43 inches amoled display and because of the amoled display the overall saturation and vibrancy of the colors is really good and the black color is really pure and the display won't emit light from the black areas in the dark thanks to the amoled display which will also help in providing you with a good battery life as all of the ui is designed according to the amoled display the screen resolution is 466 into 466 with 391 pixels per inch and talking about the brightness level it has 1000 nits of maximum brightness which will keep the display clearly visible even in the daylight after that we have two keys on the body you can use it to access the menu to scroll then we have a quick sport modes button and after that it is using 22 millimeter silicon straps which are removable the straps are of really good quality and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist what do you think about it let me know in the comments then you can also use different watch faces on the smartwatch so it uses the ziblaze fit application using which you can install more dials inside it so we have the dial center here and it contains a lot of watch faces inside it and you can install any of them for totally free if you want to install your own picture from the gallery as a watch face you can go to album watch face here we have numerous styles of clocks available whichever one suits your style you can choose it and then you can tap on upload photo to choose a picture from the gallery so for example i'm going with this picture after choosing the picture you can simply tap on sync the dial to set it as a custom watch face on your smartwatch so the dial is currently being pushed to the smartwatch and here is the picture on the smartwatch if you talk about the screen time then in the settings we have the auto lock option so it has the 30 seconds option which means the display can stay on for a maximum of 30 seconds on the home screen and if you talk about the screen of dial or the always on display you can either schedule it or turn it on for the whole day and if we talk about the watch faces it has four watch faces available for the screen of dial and as i mentioned earlier if you turn it on for the whole day it can stay on until the battery runs out and if you talk about the gestures we have the palm gesture to turn off the display and it also comes with the rest to wake gesture to turn the display off or on using the application you can also receive notifications directly on it and it also comes with the other option which means even if an application isn't listed here it can still send you the notifications for it it does not have to specifically include all of the applications on your smartphone but includes most of the main ones when you receive a new notification the smartwatch vibrates and shows a full screen prompt on the home screen and the good thing is that it supports a little scrolling as well as some of the smiley emojis and if i try sending more emojis then the good thing is that it also supports some hand gestures and some heart emojis then you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and you can directly access them in the smartwatch to call them directly from here other than that it also comes with bluetooth calling using which you can call any number directly from here if you do not want to use bluetooth calling you, you can turn it off from the settings by going to call settings and turning off this option you can also receive calls directly on it it rings as well as vibrates and also shows the name of the caller without syncing the contacts if you accept the call we have the option to mute the call then to adjust the volume level and you can hang up the call from here other than that using the watch application you can turn on automatic health monitoring with continuous heart rate monitoring continuous stress setting and also the sleep monitor here we also have the reminders option then you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch it shows a lot of data as well as the weather for the upcoming days and you can manually select your location from here 
So these are all of the languages supported by the SmartForge. It also comes with the world clock option. You can also tap on this plus icon if you want to add more cities here. Then we have the music application. If you try to control the media playing on the device, it continues to play on the smartphone without shifting the sound to the SmartForge, which is a great option in my opinion. We have the summary tab which stores all of your fitness data. Here we have the my tab which you can customize your information as well as your units and target settings. And if you go to data authorization, it can connect with Apple Health as well as Strava. The Zip the Stratos 3 Ultra is advertised to come with 120 plus sport modes. And not just that, it comes with 5 satellite systems and dual band GNSS. So with built in GPS inside it, it can help a lot by providing accurate data. You can access the sport modes directly by the side key or you can go to the menu and go to workouts. So here we have a lot of workout modes. If you want the GPS to work perfectly, so make sure you do not have a GPS expired. So if you see that a GPS has expired, tap on start updating. And now it is updating the a GPS on the smart so wait for it to finish so it is now updated successfully after that when you use any workout mode which requires gps it will start working perfectly you can also tap on settings if you want to customize the distance time or calories target or you can start without any target and then you can tap on start to start the sport mode you'll have to go to an open area and wait for satellite positioning so now i'm gonna go out and check it out so once it detects you are outside and has connected with gps it's going to start the sport mode remember that currently i do not have my smartphone which is is connected with the smartphone and I'm using it without the smartphone. So now I'm gonna take a run and see if GPS does work fine or not and can it track my path or not. And now I'm back after testing the GPS of the smartwatch and I'm quite satisfied. So first of all, let me take it off. So I took a walk around my house for about two and a half minutes. First of all, if you check out the GPS tracking, then it was quite accurate. I went to the back of my house then came back and ended on the other side of the lawn and it tracked it quite well. So it's a great smartphone if you do not take your smartphone when you go for an outside run as it can help you in going back to the point where you started. I also tested the pedometer while using the sport mode. If I go to the health tab, and here go to the day so from 3 to 4 pm it has tracked 237 steps while the zebless stratos 3 ultra has noted 230 steps so it's a quite good accuracy in my opinion and overall i am a lot satisfied by the sports mode result of the stratos 3 ultra other than that we have stats which stores all of your pedometer data history stores all of your sports mode data then it comes with blood oxygen stress and heart rate checker inside it and you can also use the rapid health to measure all of the metrics in one touch so i'm quite satisfied with the sport modes now let's see if the oximeter test can satisfy me or not so let's go ahead and start it so it took 100 seconds to measure everything we check out the heart rate it is quite accurate you can see that it is also showing 84 beats per minute the blood oxygen level shown here is 97 percent which is also close and the stress level shown here is 28 which is normal so it has also passed the oximeter test and it feels like a perfect sports and health smartphone and other than this we also get the sleep tracker inside it which can also track your sleep and even if you woke up during the night it can note it and again measure the sleep if you fell asleep again we have the breach train Running here you can also customize the speed and the time and after running a 3 seconds timer it's going to start it. For the sports mode lovers we also have barometer inside it which can measure the barometric pressure as well as the altitude and we also get a compass inside it. If using for the first time you will have to calibrate it first and after that it's going to start working. If you take a look at the rest of the applications, you can also add alarms directly in the smartphone. Let's go ahead and set an alarm. You can also select the days if you want to repeat the alarm. So here is how the alarm is shown. It rings as well as vibrates and we also have the close and the snooze option here. Then we have the timer. We have some predefined times here. You can tap here to set time according to your need. And when the timer ends, it vibrates three times. But unfortunately, it does not ring. We also get the stopwatch here. You can tap here to start it and tap here to add as many laps as you want. While the stopwatch is running, you can take a look at all of the laps. Unfortunately, the stopwatch cannot run in the background. And when you exit the stopwatch, it's going to reset it to zero. In the end, we have calculator, which has the basic functionalities like multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. In the end, it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 300 mAh and it can be charged using the magnetic charger provided in the box and it will take around one and a half hours to fully charge from 0% if you want to charge it quickly i would recommend you to use a volt charger instead of a power bank or your laptop's port 
They have advertised that training with power saving modes can give you up to 24 days of battery life and the battery life may vary depending on the usage. It's been around 15 hours since I've been working on this video and I've spent around 1 hour in recording the video. Other than this time the smartwatch was continuously turned on and was connected with the smartphone. And in this time the smartwatch has gone down to 75% from 92% which is a great battery timing in my opinion and it can easily give you around 4 to 5 days of battery life even with the screen of dial enabled. So guys this will be all from today's video and from the Ziblaze Stratos 3 Ultra. What do you think about it? In my opinion it's a perfect GPS smartwatch for the sport mode lovers. It has a built in GPS inside it, the pedometer works really well and it has also passed my oximeter test providing accurate values. I would have really appreciated if it had the ring option for the timer and the stopwatch could run in the background. Other than that it looks like a solid smartwatch. If you would like to place an order I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box and I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. For the upcoming videos make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications and if you have any specific requests let me know in the comments. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time this is iMat. Peace.